welcome to the second episode of Gulfstream Shorts. We are so happy to be back with our friends today at the Texas State Aquarium. Carla, thanks so much for joining us. I would love it if you could just tell everyone what you do here at the Texas State Aquarium. Thank you, Megan, and thank you so much for coming. Uh, my name is Carla Falconisualo, and I am the Marketing and Communications Manager here at the Texas State Aquarium. Awesome, awesome. Well, so you get to spend your days here, which has got to be awesome. So I need to know, what's your favorite ex exhibit at the aquarium? Well, it's got to be hard to pick. It is very hard <laughs> to pick, and I, I think it depends. Okay. It depends on the weather. It depends on the time of day, and it depends on how busy we are. Oh. So, yes, yes. I think uh, as far as the time of day, my favorite exhibit would be CRS, which is our Caribbean Sea exhibit underwater view. Yes. Because around 9 a.m. when the sun is coming out, the sun hits the water just right, so oh. you can see it shining through the water, and the fish reflect the light in such a beautiful way that it's just so beautiful and calming. Oh. So I love that exhibit in the morning. When it rains, okay. I love underwater dolphin view, the dolphin room. How can you not? Exactly. Like it's so <laughs> calming and the dolphins are swimming and they enjoy the rain. And, and I remember coming with my kids. Um, when it rained, we would come to the aquarium and go see that. And of course, go see Shadow, oh. uh, our favorite dolphin in the whole world. I can just see their little smiling faces right yes, now. <laughs> yes. Um, and then the third one would be, I call this a hidden gem here at the aquarium. Um, it's this little coral nursery that is located in our Caribbean level, Caribbean level one. It's this little coral exhibit that has many types of different corals and uh, different fishes, like colored fish, and crabs, and shrimp, and uh, it's just so beautiful that I feel like sometimes people just rush and don't pay yeah. attention to the little things. This exhibit is amazing, and I just like to stand there, and whenever we're not too busy, you can just immerse yourself in that little exhibit, like a little world. I love so, it. I, I love that too, so I would say, yeah, I have a few. What a, what a moment of zen that sounds like. Yes. I, I absolutely love it. You guys heard it, Hidden Gym, okay, so <laughs> you know where to come when you come to the aquarium. So, I'm curious, is there an animal that's here that you particularly relate to? Many, many. Okay. I, I thought about it, and Tiki the turtle will be one of them, but Mila the ocelot would be oh. also uh, oh. one that I relate to so much because she she's a nocturnal animal. Okay. And I am a nocturnal person. <laughs> I thrive at night. I that's when my creativity is like at a peak, and um, I'm kind of like a night owl. Um, also. She likes to explore her exhibit. Like she, yeah. whenever I see Mila, I see that she has so much going on in her head. And I'm not a cat person, I'm a dog person. Interesting. But she's so beautiful, she's so fascinating. She just has so much going on. And, and uh, we have ocelots in Ecuador too. So when I go and I see her, go. I remember home and, and all the beautiful places in Ecuador that have ocelots. So it's just kind of like a piece of home is right here. That's so beautiful to have that connection. Yes. And she is, she's absolutely beautiful. I'm really excited to go see her later. Um, okay, so my last question for you. Now, anyone who follows the Texas State Aquarium on social media knows that you guys always have great content. You're making some awesome videos. So why is it so important that we use social media to communicate science and you know talk about conservation? I think it's so important because um, that's how we are communicating and teaching and educating and inspiring so many people. Mm -hmm. um, I think that we, with the following that we have, we have a big responsibility and uh, we are taking that into consideration when we see that there's a need to, to, to um, communicate a message. For instance, um, when there was the cold stunning, when there are cold stunnings, yeah. there's sea turtles, there's stuff that is happening. Mm -hmm. And last year we actually coordinated with the National uh, Padre Island Sea Serpents um, how to communicate what people can do if they see a 
called stone sea turtle. Mm. What number to call? What okay. to do? So that that kind of information is so important to get out to the community that is like, hey, now you can help and this is how you can also help save wildlife. Call this number, do this, do that. So that is so big and also um, inspiring people. Absolutely. We, we have so many followers that nor, not only are in, in Corpus Christi, but they are around Texas or they are around the nation and they want to become marine biologists. They ask us like, Aww. what... What can I do? What career should I study? What, what can I do to be a marine mammal trainer? What mm -hmm. can I do to rescue wildlife? How can I be a vet? And stuff like that. So, so that's the kind of content that we put out. Try to just inspire, educate, and uh, communicate. I love it so much. It makes it so relatable and it makes it so easily accessible to, as you said, everybody um, in Texas and throughout the country. Yes, so. yes, yes. Well, Carla, thank you so, so much. Um, I hope that we can, you know, explore the aquarium a little bit today while yes. we're here, but we appreciate you being here with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Absolutely.